Bree Pettis here at Make Magazine headquarters in the Make Lab with Jake McKenzie and Matt Dalton. And these guys make things all day. They have like the best job in the universe. And tell me a little bit about what you've made here. We made a lot of stuff from just like uh, projects that are in the magazine to stuff to kind of display at shows, stuff to put on display so people kind of like, you know, walk over and check it out. This is a, uh, a demo for the POV kit, which uh, basically just uses a uh, blender motor, half of a bicycle, and the back wheel to make a simple POV display. Point of, is that point of view? Persistence of vision. Persistence of vision. And you can get these in the store, right? Right, they're available in the store. Awesome, well let's crank it up. Cool. I would highly recommend a tool to get the links off the chain. If you don't have it, you can use a nail and very carefully hit it with a hammer, but it takes long and you end up messing the chain up. So this is a very handy little tool to have. Another thing you should uh, think about is a dimmer switch. This is an AC motor, and so to control the uh, speed of the motor, we just used a simple dimmer switch that's made for like a fan, so like a five amp dimmer switch. You can just get them at a hardware store. Hook it up to the uh, plug and you're set. You can pick these up at the make store and you can program them to say whatever it is you want them to. All right, but blender motor not included. Back at the workbench here and I've got my tools and materials and I'm going to solder one of these things up. Uh, I've got a, a little multi-tester here and hopefully I won't need this because it'll work perfectly on the first try. And then I've got um, some alligator clips here where this needs to work as extra hands so I can clip things in here and then solder to them without having to actually like hold it, hold the solder and the soldering iron together. That's just trouble. Uh, then I've got all the parts and a pair of, uh, pair of wire snips, some solder and the soldering iron. The instructions for this are at ladyada.net. Uh, that's Lamore's website. She's an engineer out of New York City and she's done some really awesome projects. So while you're looking at the instructions, Check out some of the amazing things she's done. Okay, let's get started soldering this up. There is a great satisfaction in soldering things together. You put things together and then you connect them with the solder and it's just, there's something really cool about doing it. I highly recommend it. Just don't touch the soldering iron, don't drop it on your rug, and, um, and enjoy it. Uh, you also want to make sure you hold the soldering iron onto the parts for a few seconds before you stick the solder on there so everything gets heated up. That way it makes a good, solid connection. Now, I'm at the moment of truth here. I've got the battery pack and everything soldered up and I need to turn it on. I'm going to be dramatic about it. I'm going to turn off the lights and see if it works. Okay, here we go. Yes, I have lights. Now let's see if it says anything. I'm going to wave this thing around. Oh yeah, I like that. It works. It's, now it's pre-programmed to say make zine, but if you have a computer with a serial port or have a friend who has a computer with a serial port, which means a PC, you can program this sucker to say whatever you want. Customize it however you like. Mount it on your bicycle or just wave it around like this. This is totally cool. All right. You've watched another weekend projects. I'm Bree Pettis. Go out there, get one of these kits. They're available at our store. Solder it up. Have a great time and have a great weekend.